catch us live on your TV screen. Even if you're not making yeah. money, it is. Because the, no, by virtue the of not making money, it means that you are hustling. Yeah. Um, you just um, change the STR from struggling to H U. No, no. I think there's a difference between a side hustle and something that you just generally passionate about yeah. that you do on the side. If you, your intention are not to make money, you're just doing it for the love of it. Yeah, you're, you're not, not, you're not hustling. It's between a hobby and the, and, and the side hustling. Um, yeah. um, if you're doing something just to get money, um, you, you call that a job. You wake up and go because <laughs> you have to do it. Then and you, you call say, it a job. Like he and said, then when you're passionate about something yeah. and it feeds your soul, then that is a career. And then, if you're doing something extra, 28 hours a day, no. then you are hustling. Because you, you could be sleeping for eight hours. You decided yeah. to only take a nap of 30 minutes and wake up again to go back to the client. Yeah. Now you are hustling. My main Ooh. job is broadcasting. Mm -hmm. Side hustling would be getting into acting. Yeah. Teaching kids English is your passion. Is, yeah, and I don't look to make money off it. I just want these kids to be able to articulate themselves when they're in the classroom. So, what would you guys differentiate it, between yeah. a passion, maybe something that you just and a side hustle, a hobby, like a you hobby said, and a side yeah. hustle? I think I think uh, let's let's ask, let's answer this question. Um, what is your intention behind the hustle? Okay. So, what what brings you down to a moment when you say, you know what? I have to do this. Oh. You, of course, I'm sure you're asking yourself questions and then you're answering yourself. Okay, I'm working from 8 to 4, but you know what? I need to do this. If you stand up and say, I'm going to teach kids English uh. because I want kids to know English, so uh. scratch the hustle with. Mm. That's what just, I'm saying. Yeah, not just, everything is a side hustle because you're passionate yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, just, yeah, just scratch it. But if, it's just a hobby. Yes, but if, if, if I'm sitting there and I'm telling myself, you know what, I'm doing 8 to 4, but, and this is my definition, by yeah. the way. If I'm doing eight to four, but I'm looking at myself, I'm like, nah, man, I need extra 14G. You know what? Let me do this. You mm. understand? I start my own car wash on the side. And then the I start, hustle. yeah, I take my bike, I deliver milk on the side. So my intentions are I need to get extra moolah. Yeah. Mm. You understand? So that that's is, my side hustle. Therefore, yes. that is a side yes, hustle. That's you, my side hustle. But you hustle. can be passionate about your side hustle. Yes. Well. I know, yeah. Like yes. Mateen, who covers the Quran and the Bible, so yeah. she's passionate about it. Yes. And she got the love of it from her father. I agree. And she's I agree. Like, but how do you then go about saying this is a job, this is a side hustle? Because this is a hobby. I, because no. I've always, I've, this is a hobby. Because I always go with the intentions. I do two things in life. And I don't call them any, um, I don't call none of them side hustles. I call them my jobs because mm. both of them um, do financially um, support me. I'm not doing this because of this. So how do you go about this saying, this is my job. Okay, this is my side hustle. Does it have to be an office job where you're like, I'm here, eight, I'm here eight to five or eight to four. And then the other one I'm doing for two hours. Um... I would say a job, man. It's it's something that you're doing just like you're a policeman. Yeah, you're not passionate about it. Yeah, there's mm. there's, there's there's no passion, it, but it's a job. You, mm. you can pay bills, okay. you know. Yeah. And then <laughs> a side hustle, like Christ say, Christ yeah. say, like it's not enough. Yeah, it's it, it's not enough. This police job. Yeah, you want you want more, and then. That's and then you, you have to pick police. And to prove that <laughs> it, it, it is just a job. You see a criminal there, you come hey, and hey. me, uh, chase uh, after that. It's, it, it's too hot. Yeah. <laughs> it's too hot. I'm not going to chase after so, that. With, with what you're saying, I, I suppose that some people might consider being a police their passion, therefore this is actually what they like. And then yeah. some people might be a side hustle. So mm. how uh, in life, like, uh, earlier my co-host said something about how he doesn't like when people say presenting is their has side hustle. When for him, his is life is what he lives for. I would, say, I would say, yes, for him. Yeah. yeah. It's like that. For, for another person, it's not like that. Yeah, because yeah. me, it's my side hustle. Hello. Yeah. Only go. kidding. Um, are there side hustles that uh, we look, as a society, we look down upon and we shouldn't? Definitely. Mm. Um, first and foremost, I do want to say that a side hustle is very important. Um, I don't know a lot of people that lost their jobs during when COVID yeah. started. Um, musicians, artists, they weren't performing. So what were they doing? Mm. They're crying because they're not making income, mm. you know? So a side hustle, no matter what type of job you have, is important. 
you know, because you can do something extra, remember that. But for me, it's like things that get frowned upon, especially in the colored communities, is if you, are, uh, if you sell fruit, you know, by the robots, mm -hmm. then it's always like, ugh, you know, like I won't, I, won't, I won't buy from this guy, rather go to the fruit and veg, it's not, you know, it's not sanitized, it's not this, it's not that, and I don't want to buy you look dirty, that type of thing. You know, you don't bring enough money home, I wouldn't want to date a guy that's selling fruit uh, along the street, yeah. those type of things. You know, that, that type of things, that um, stigma that's around that. But for me, that might be, and I don't know, I saw an IG story on Somizi's, um uh, uh, Instagram, where he was speaking about the guy that was selling the Millie, Millie Mill. Mm, yeah. And it was a very inspirational story because the, what he was saying is this guy, he lives in Pretoria, if I'm not mistaken, but he takes transport all the way to Johannesburg every single day. And he stands there and he sells those, uh, you know, Millies. Because nobody likes Millie Mill in Pretoria. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, but that just so, that just shows when you hustle, it doesn't matter. You can you go the extra yeah. mile to make that extra yeah. coin. Okay, that is what I'm trying to say. Are we are we respecting slay queens enough? Because that's a hassle. Nobody wakes yeah. up and say, when I grow up, I want to be a yeah, slay queen. queen. Okay, okay but what sure. is Let's a slay queen? No one <laughs> what define <laughs> define slay queen? Slay queens are cleaners now, and they're using <laughs> the slay queen ability to get clients. You know, yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yeah, I think I think you know jobs, hobbies. Yeah. Where do where do even morals go in? How do we say okay, this uh, uh yeah, this, this well, side has morals now? Well. No, how how do we even go about say ah uh, you can't be hustling like this morals? <laughs> Can I just <laughs> say that I don't <laughs> think where are your morals? I don't think con con considering the fact that we don't all share the same morals. For you, it might be ah, immoral, but, ah, but, but, but there are morals that are, are, are commonly no. shared amongst human beings. What is that? The uh, question is what. When you say moral, yeah. shared, what do you mean? Are you Things that, that you like, you, are, you can't be doing that <laughs> for high side. Like, okay, let's, let's make it for example, <laughs> selling drugs. We all have this sense that you can't be selling that's drugs. Right. And that no, but that is illegal. That's illegal. That's illegal. illegal. But that's also, illegal. That's also illegal. How, how, do we, how do you go about saying, I, but you, this has like hustle of you is killing so many kids, but it's my side hustle. Yeah. Look, I need it. Yeah. I think, I think, I think, I think uh, going back to the slay queens, um, uh, we're living in an ever-changing world mm -hmm. and <laughs> our definition of morals is slowly becoming in and out like changing every <laughs> now and then and we are adopting and mm. people every now and then are building that culture of you know what yeah let's go yeah uh, my, morals are fine. yes because now 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 you're looking at it and you're saying okay now my daughter or my sister is a slave queen but you know what she does? She brings in an income, and out of that silicon, she's now doing beauty and nails, and she's selling Brazilian weaves, and she. So now she's actually we're just looking at the silicon end product. Yeah. But now there's a chain of command that is coming in, and she's selling weaves, she's oh. beauty products, and all of those things, and then she's building herself as uh, today we know it. Yeah. Uh, whoever's going to be platform. your daughter in the future, she's in good hands. Um, <laughs> we only have two minutes. You want to say I something? I just wanted to add quickly to that. It's talking about where, you, where do you draw the line? So yeah. I come from a corporate background before I went into technology, what was my hobby and now my main hustle. So, you know, as he said, you know, there's a line between what's morally correct and, you know, what's illegal, basically, at the mm. end of the day. And a lot of other countries have really been open-minded in respect of this. I mean, countries like Australia and those types of things have actually legalized prostitution. Mm -hmm. um, and it's much safer for those ladies because everybody gets tested. They need to pay tax at the end of the day. So mm -hmm. it's a large revenue stream for a country like this. That so was your morals out the window. Um, it's, 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 saying, mm -hmm. I would say time. that, you know, kind of things that people are fine to do, legalize it so that it's safer for people. Um, you know, and as I said, it's a revenue stream, not for only for yourself, but for the government as well. Where Quickly, social stream? media handles, where do we follow you guys before we wrap? Um, on IG, sipping tea with tea. Woo! <laughs> Facebook, cry kick mm -hmm. So I'm on Facebook and LinkedIn under uh, Ada Van Sel or Ascend Online. I've got a podcast, Edify with Ada. And I'm on Clubhouse. Hey Ada Tabisa? Um, Tabisa Kwao on Facebook and Director underscore Kwao on Instagram.
Yeah, for Ezga Khusiko as well as Fatim, you can hop onto Excel Live on Facebook. There are posters there. You can follow them and see what kind of side hustle are they up to? They up to? Yes. Are they moral? <laughs> <laughs> Is it illegal? <laughs> Is it legal? <laughs> but catch this very episode at 8 a.m. on Monday, right here on Cape Town TV. It's yeah. us to buzz out yeah. yeah, guys, follow your heart and then just, just do what you do. Just make sure that it's legal. And then never yeah. mind the morals because we don't yeah. share the same. Make, sure Make sure if Awonke is giving you English classes because it's his passion. Don't I don't charge you. Make sure I just I want ask, you guys. Like, also, also make sure catching it there every morning and of course every um every four p.m. It's your side hustle. Yeah, yeah. thank you, ladies Yay. and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs>